Hey everybody. Hello everybody. Hey everybody. It's Brock. This is Brock. And we got a new episode with another episode of All About. Of All About. All About. What's up guys? I'm hitting y'all with two videos today. I just have a real big stockpile of fish videos right now. And so I'm trying to push them out so we can get new stuff like maybe do corals in the future which would be really cool. So we're here with another episode of All About with Brock. We are learning about the blue head wrasse now. A very hyper wrasse. Prices on them you'll spend about $24. Tank size you need about a 55 gallon for this guy. Care level he's super easy. Temper he can be semi aggressive. Mainly because he's just a really hyper wrasse and a very aggressive eater. You want to make sure you feed him plenty and then let your other fish come and get some food. Reef compatible, yes, he's a good reef fish to have, but we've had problems of them knocking corals over if they're not glued just because of them swimming around so fast and hectic. Temperature, you want to keep it 72, 78. Keep your DKH 8 to 12, pH 8.1 to 8.4, and your salinity 1.020 to 1.025. Diet, they are a carnivore. Normally we're feeding them brine and mysis, a little bit of krill, different stuff like that. Even when they get bigger, I've, we've been like cutting little bitty pieces of frozen shrimp and dropping it in there and they tear it up. Max size, they can get a solid 7 inches. That is a huge ras. Compatibility, you know, just ask. You can put them with other ras. Just make sure you don't see any fighting coming out of them color he does have that real nice blue body with the white and yellow stripes we've never really gotten a really pretty one in the shop they all kind of seem a lot more pale than the internet shows them i don't know if there's a little bit of photoshop going around in there or what but all the ones we get in the shop they're all not like the picture show origin they are from the caribbean so like i said this guy is very hyper and needs plenty of swimming room you know i'm talking like the four feet tanks like a 55 those always do really good for him so he can run back and forth and back and forth so make sure other fish are getting the food they really love to hop like right when you drop that food in there they're up there pecking at the water almost trying to jump out to get that food they have been known to jump out of course it is a slender wrasse so make sure you have plenty of glass lids on top of there to keep it from doing that. I think that's really it you need to know about this guy though. You can have him in a reef tank. Just make sure you glue those corals down. It's really annoying whenever he knocks that stuff off and you got to put it back up there. But that's it. I'll see y'all next week. Hope y'all have a good weekend. Make sure to like and subscribe and check out my other episodes. We're pushing them out and we just hit 900 subscribers the other day. I can't thank y'all enough for that.